Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. You've done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. You've done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. You have taken my sins away. Praise the Lord. Well, I was thinking, I was driving day before yesterday, and I was thinking on things in the world, and I noticed a sign saying 45 miles per hour, and I was on the road I'm familiar with that they're working on the road, but I looked down, and <laughs> I was going 70 miles per hour because I hadn't set my cruise control, and 70 feels very comfortable to me. <laughs> so I slowed it down and set the cruise control, and just like you and I might need the cruise control to keep us out of trouble. The Lord's given us his word. And those of us that have been lawbreakers, there had to be law for people like us <laughs> to slow us down, to save our souls. You know, God has set perimeters or parameters and boundaries for us to save our souls, to give us a good life and a happy life because you know when you go down the path of sin it may seem pleasant at first because you're feeding your flesh and our flesh enjoys many things but it leaves us feeling separated from God because we we just know we have him in us and we know how we are supposed to live and uh I'm hesitating a little bit because my dog's stirring up the chickens. He's actually doing a good job. He just got them in instead of terrorizing them. So praise the Lord. <laughs> it's exciting. But anyway, cruise control. And we need God to take care of us. We need to align with Him. The Lord's spoken that to me before. Alignment and recalibrate. Because as we walk this Christian walk, we get out of line from the Word sometimes. The flesh starts taking over again sometimes. And we're getting caught up with the cares of life instead of paying attention to staying close to the Lord. We know we are in perilous times. There is much happening. We need to stay close to the Lord. I would just like to add, you know, reading the Word, praising God seeking his face diligently so important it's always been important but it's so important now because uh, many voices out there saying many things and many of us are are looking for answers because of the turbulence in the world the wars starting uh so many threatenings around us that this is going to happen and that is going to happen but whose report shall we believe we need to believe the report of the Lord. If we know the word of God, we keep reading it. He's speaking to us through that. If somebody says something that opposes the word of God, we need a made up mind. I'm going to stay with the report of the Lord because he knows everything. He knows the end from the beginning. He's already told us these things we are seeing today. It's in the word of God that these things will happen. We will see them happen. We will know the times because of these things happening. You know, we keep our eyes on Israel because that is God's chosen people. There's a lot of people that don't like that, as we can see in the world. Satan is stirring up the hatred against them again. Time after time after time, these people have been targeted. And, of course, you and I as Christians, we are grafted into these promises that Israel has. Uh, we are spiritual Israel, so we are targeted as well with hatred uh, by Satan. Satan just hates humanity in general, so don't anybody feel left out, but he really hates Israel and Christians. But, you know, there is nothing... 
too hard for God. Nothing's impossible with God. Whatever we are facing at this time, storms, losses, maybe job loss, income loss. You know, we have this whole AI thing coming up to take people's jobs away. Well, what's the plan for those people? There's not a plan for those people <laughs> except God's plan. So you need God's plan in your life. God's economy is above what this world has established. He can bring all of their plans down in a moment, all their plans of evil against us. God can sabotage it all. He can confuse them, turn them on one another. He's done it. We see those examples in the Word of God. So uh, whose report will you believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. You need to give your heart to the Lord if you haven't done so, because He is coming soon. Be it um, how soon that is, I don't know. But as He warns us of these terrible things to come, He's also telling His people, I'm coming soon. You stay ready. So let's stay ready. Keep our garments clean, because we do not want to miss the Lord. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Obey Acts 238 if you need to give your heart to the Lord.